All right, folks, uh, welcome back to the uh, radio lab today, folks. Today, I'd like to give you guys a talk about what's called a digital down converter. Or those of us in the field, we call it a DDC for short. And today, I'd like to give a talk about, well, what exactly is a digital down converter? And uh, how is it important in our radio world today? Now I like to go with this, what I like to call my learn by example approach, folks. This is uh, this is how we learn engineering here in uh, West Virginia. Now let's say we got that uh, amplitude modulated radio station, and it's transmitting at 1090 kilohertz, and uh, we're gonna receive it with our little red papaya, and it's got a sample rate of 125 megahertz. And somehow we're going to reduce the sample rate to 50 kilohertz. Now, those of you that know Nyquist might be saying to yourself, that's impossible. There's no way 50 kilohertz can sample a one megahertz signal. And for those of you still not sure what I'm talking about, let's go through it step by step. So I got this little loop antenna here and it's tuned to 1090 kilohertz. It's an AM signal coming in. We're going to be listening to Rush Limbaugh and all the idiots on talk radio. And then we're going to stream that. That signal is going to come in to this little red papaya. And there's an A to D in there. It stands for an analog to digital converter. And it's going to be running at a clock of 125 megahertz. Now, basic Nyquist theory says if your sample rate's 125 megahertz, that means I can pick up signals from 0 to 62 megahertz. So I'm pretty sure we're good, right? 62 megahertz is way bigger than 1 megahertz signal down here. So, the, so far, so good, right? So good. But somehow, these block diagrams say the data coming out of the red papaya going to my little laptop crap top is only going to have a sample rate of 50 kilohertz. Now, it's going to be IQ data. That stands for in phase and quadrature. So, when it's IQ data, the bandwidth is the sample because it's negative 125 kilohertz to positive. I'm not going to get into that now, just trust me. But anyway, how do we look at this right here? It says 50 kilohertz sample rate is streaming into my little computer. Well, 50 kilohertz is way too low if we're going to be sampling this one megahertz signal, right? How do we do that? What kind of RF black magic is being done to take a 1 megahertz signal here at 1090 kilohertz, however you want to say it, and down convert it or shift it to only a 50 kilohertz sample rate? There's something majorly going on there. Well, it's called a digital down converter. Damn. Now let me explain. This is the data in here that's streaming in from the A to D. So this is real high speed data. And this is the 125 megahertz data rate coming in here. Real high speed data. Now if we're going to reduce this data over here by 50 to 50 kilohertz sample rate, what the trick is we're going to use these two mixers and like I said if we're focusing in on receiving a 1090 kilohertz signal we're going to set up our quadrature DDS down here and we're going to program that quadrature DDS to also be 1090 kilohertz such that 1090 kilohertz multiplied by 1090 kilohertz, you're going to have the sum and the difference. Well, the sum we're going to knock out by these low pass filters. Excuse me. So the difference is going to be zero. So we basically have shifted that 1090 kilohertz signal down to zero 
hertz. That's what we call baseband. Damn. Now, like I said, if we got a 125 megahertz data rate coming in here, and we want to have this data rate on the right side be 50 kilohertz, well, one, you're going to have to put low-pass filters here, right? And each one of these low-pass filters is going to have to have a cutoff frequency of 25 kilohertz. And this little down-looking arrow thing with the FS, that means decimate. So if we've got 125 megahertz here, and we want to get 50 kilohertz here, that means we need to decimate or downsample by 2,500. Damn. And I hope this shows this is what a digital down converter is. Now let's say we want to pick up 680 kilohertz radio signal. What do we do? Well, we simply change this quadrature DDS here to 680 kilohertz. And now the 680 kilohertz coming in here is going to get multiplied by a 680 kilohertz signal. 680 kilohertz minus 680 kilohertz is zero. So that 680 kilohertz AM signal now is going to be centered around DC. That's what we like to call an IQ baseband signal. Now, hopefully you folks are getting that because that's a very important concept, not just in these ham radio software dangle dingies, but it's in everywhere, folks, from your smartphone to your Wi-Fi and your crap top computer and everything else. All any kind of digital radio these days is going to have this block in it right here. It's called a digital down converter, or we like to call it a DDC block in the field. Now, typically, all this functionality is done in firmware. And that's exactly what we have going on in our little red papaya. The data is coming in. It's getting digitized. And then inside this firmware, this thingy here with the heat sink, that's called an FPGA chip. Uh, this It's going to be executing this block right here. And we call that a DDC block or a digital down converter block. And then we'll be sending this IQ data out, out of our Ethernet port, which is right here. And then that will be streaming over to your computer. Now let's get into the gory details of the blocks of what's inside this firmware. And the person that wrote this firmware is Pavel Devin. And we have to give a big thanks to him because now we can use it to make our own software defined radio. And we can also use it to make our own software defined transmitter. It goes both ways. You take lower sample rate, shift it up. You take high sample rate, shift it down. In this case, we're shifting it down. That's why we call it a down converter, because we're going down. <laughs> all right, now let's walk you through it all, folks. Here is the SMA plug on the red papaya. They call it N2. Okay. And then it goes into an analog to digital converter chip. They call it this ADC interface here. Now you got real high speed data coming out of that chip 125 megahertz rate each sample is 14 bits damn that's a lot of data streaming real fast now if we were to send this data right to a pc one your pc would choke the fan would overheat and it would probably blow up so that ain't no good so what they do is we got to send this into this Quartic rotation, basically that's a fancy word for IQ2 quadrature mixers. And then we got our phase generator here. That's a fancy term for two sine waves. So like I said, we've got, if we want to pick up the 1090 kilohertz signal, we're going to set this phase generator to 1090 kilohertz such that 1090 multiplied by 1090 is zero because we're just picking the difference now. That's what this filter is doing here is a fur, they call it, but it's a filter. Finite impulse response filter or some bullshit. Anyway, see all these down looking arrows here? That's what's going on. These are all down samples. 
This is called a CIC block. I uh, forget what that is, but basically it's a fancy decimate block. And it's used to decimate signals big time. So we got this huge 125 megahertz. And like I said, if we want to get that 125 megahertz signal down to 50 kilohertz, that means we need to decimate by 2,500. So clearly you're going to pick all these max registers here and then you can pick more decimation here in this fur block. And then now the data stream into my PCU is only 50 kilohertz. Well, that's that's a piece of cake for any modern computer. 50 kilohertz is nothing. 125 megahertz? No, your computer is going to choke, blow up. No way it's going to keep up with that data rate. Now, so after the digital down conversion, the sample rate needs to be greater than the signal modulation bandwidth only. The carrier component has essentially been removed. So in AM radio's case, the amplitude modulation bandwidth is around 10 kilohertz. So that means the sample rate needs to be greater than 10 kilohertz. So 50 kilohertz will be just fine. Well, folks, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something today about digital down conversion. And now you can pretend to be smart and actually pretend like you know what's going on in these software defined radio dangle thingies. Until next time, this is West Virginia 5. Thanks for watching.